thanks a lot, Georgie. Hello, everyone. I'll just need a moment to share my screen. Okay, you should be able to see it now. Yes. I think. Okay, great. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm very happy to present to you today the Master of Science in Economics at Osnabrück University. Uh, I'll be doing the presentation together with Gao De Long Ai, who is one of our students. Hello, uh, along with, um, and our slogan for our master is future oriented and sustainable. And I think it will become clear why we use that slogan. And Long and I will together tell you about why the program, the people and the environment make Osnabrück a great place to do your master in economics. So let me start with the program. So overall in Osnabrück, we have 1,200 to 1,400 students studying business administration, economics and information systems at bachelor and master level. But today I will just talk about the master program in economics. And this is really a program where we just implemented brand new reforms starting this semester. The program will be in English. So don't be surprised if in the rankings or in some internet fora you don't see Osnabrück because it, the program was not in English in the past, but it now is. And we're ha very happy about that. And the second new thing is that we have a new very timely specialization option in a very exciting area, sustainability, behavior, and environmental policy. And I'll tell you in a moment a bit more about this as well. And the third reform that we've implemented is that you will have even more flexibility in your course choices, which I think is also a good thing. What are the general aims of this program? Well, in the course of the program, you will deepen your knowledge in economics, of course, you will learn a broad spectrum of application-oriented economic methods and apply models and methods to economic policy issues and get prepared for working on important real-world projects. So although we are not an applied university, I would say we are a relatively applied program. You can, as I said already, um, shape the program quite a lot according to your own interests. And here you see an exemplary study plan of the Master in Economics. As usual, it has 120 ECTS. And really the only obligatory module other than the master thesis, of course, is the model Advanced Methods of Business and Economics. It's a 10 ECTS module, compulsory providing advanced competencies in microeconomic analysis and in econometric analysis with application to concrete examples. And all the rest, the 90 ECTS left, are our elective areas. So you can really make your own choices there. There are, of course, some constraints. 60 of these ECTS have to be in economics and methods, and 10 have to be in business administration. And Within this area, if you want to, you can choose one of two majors. So this is an option. You don't have to, but you have the choice between two exciting majors. The first is called empirical economics. The second is the one I already mentioned, sustainability, behavior, and environmental policy. I tell you in a moment a bit more about those two majors. In general, what it means to take a major is that you have to take at least 40 credits from a specified list of courses that fit that topic. So the major in empirical economics is motivated by the fact that modern economics increasingly uses empirical methods in its research. So our faculty is particularly strong in this regard. Actually, we do have an institute of empirical economics. A lot of colleagues work on empirical economics. And the aim of the major is to provide you with the ability to conduct yourself independent empirical analysis. The content is, um, on the one hand, you get a strong methodological foundation in statistics and econometrics if you choose this, ma this major, and you will get applied training in which various economic policy issues are addressed, and you also do an empirical study on your own in form of a project seminar. There are many career perspectives, of course, in that area of empirical economics. You could work at applied research institutes, at consulting firms, at departments of companies, banks, or the big four auditing firms conducting empirical analysis, or, of course, in academia. The second major 
that sustainability behavior and environmental policy is, as I said, very new. And it's really motivated by the observation that as humanity, we are facing important environmental challenges. I mean, you're all aware of the climate crisis. Young people care particularly about uh, that topic, but of course also worldwide, we worry about that topic. And other environmental challenges include, for example, biodiversity loss. And all these challenges really call for a sustainability transformation. Something needs to change. And the thing is, we largely know how behavior of various actors needs to change. We know that what companies, consumers, farmers, governments should do. But why is this change not happening or not happening enough? Or as the article that I put here said, why is humanity so reluctant to save itself from climate change or other environmental challenges? That's motivating this major. And the thing is um, that understanding economics, you're interested in economics, that's why you're here today. But understanding economics is really important, both for understanding major sources of the problem and also for developing solutions to these challenges. So the aim of this major is really to qualify young professionals who understand the role of economics in sustainability transformation and who want to use this knowledge to actively shape a societal transformation towards a more sustainable economy. The content, you will learn, we will get an in-depth understanding of the barriers and solution approaches for a sustainability transformation from an economic perspective. What's really unique about our program compared to um, some other programs in environmental economics is that we have this combination of environmental economics with behavioral economics. You probably know behavioral economics. It's also a very modern area of economics, more at the intersection to psychology and moving a bit away from standard assumptions of homo economicus, broader view on, on human behavior. So this program really combines those two aspects. And if you take this major, you will get additional methods, namely economic exper experiments as an important method in economics and also policy evaluation. And you will also get the opportunity to gain some fundamental knowledge in other sustainability related disciplines, for example, psychology, human geography or system science. Now, this is a very um, hot topic, so there are also many career perspectives in this area. You could work, for example, in public agencies shaping environmental policy at different levels, or in companies or organizations involved in policy consulting, or in sustainability departments of companies, or environmental departments of economic research institutes. Of course, also in academia, research and teaching, or also in environmental NGOs. So that's pretty much the content of the program. Let me briefly tell you also about admission requirements because I know that's also important to you. That's relatively low key in the Osnabrück University. You need, of course, a successfully completed bachelor's degree and you can check on Uni Assist for general acceptance of your degree in Germany. So this is just a general requirement for Germany, not specific to the university. Usually a three year bachelor program is sufficient Sometimes you need a bit more, but you can check that on only assist. You need English language skills, at least on level B2. And then there are some subject specific requirements. You will need at least 15 ECTS credits in mathematics, statistics or econometrics with at least eight of them in statistics or econometrics. And you will need at least 25 ECTS credits from the field of economics. So usually when you've undergone a bachelor in economics, you will easily satisfy these criteria. But also if you come from an interdisciplinary degree um, with economics in it, you're likely to um, be able to study in Osnabrück in this program. And if you do not fulfill these requirements, but are not missing more than 10 ECTS from that list, you can also still get admitted actually subject to the requirement to make up for certain modules. I put here also for you the application deadlines. They are for the winter semester, July 15, for the summer semester, January 15. If you have an international degree, including also from the EU, you have to apply via UniAssist. If you have a German bachelor's degree, probably not, you're not here today with a German bachelor's degree, but then you could uh, directly apply to Osnabrück University. 
And with that, I actually would like to hand over to Long, one of our master students, who will tell you about the people and the environment. All right. Thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> um, so again, first of all, I'm Gaudi Long Ai, and currently I'm at my last semester of studying um, master's in economics at the University of Osnabrück. And yeah, first of all, I can tell you guys um, to summarize a little bit that my personal experience at the uni university was very great because considering that I did my bachelor's at another university, I learned far more and more engaging personal at the University of Osnabrück. So yeah, it helped me a lot for my future, basically said. Um, so if you come to the University of Osnabrück, you will have very renowned uh, professors economics professors, because um, they actively use new empirical methods. For example, Stephanie just told you about uh, the climate crisis and sustainability as a topic. Um, so yeah, you gain a lot of deeper insights as a student as well, um, because it's just very more engaging topics and a little bit more recent, um, which is a lot more fun, to be honest, considering that I did a lot of old uh, theories and stuff in my bachelor degree. Sorry for that. Now it goes on. <laughs> That's great. Perfect. Yeah, let's go. So also, um, yeah, like I said, uh, you get a lot more deeper insights as a student. And it's also very helpful that you have more easiness with your professors um, and direct contact um, because it's not a, a super large university. And because it's a little bit smaller, um, you get more direct contact with professors. For example, I did my master thesis uh, with Professor Engel. Stephanie and her uh, colleague, Dr. Otis Riamalo. And yeah, the experience was just great because it was very personal. I could ask them questions if I had any. And yeah, it was just a lot of fun doing it. And also considering the students, um, they are very engaged in the university. For example, there's a student council that uh, is in contact with the professors and the university management. And also the social media accounts uh, are run by students. Um, so they always give updates for recent news or anything that's changing. And also uh, there are interdisciplinary networks. Um, so research lines like digitalization and that give a deeper insight for studies and um, topics that are addressed at the university, which could be also basically considered uh, being con uh, connected to having renowned research. So yeah, let me tell you about, uh, about the environment a little bit. Um, so Osnabrück is uh, called the city of peace because the major peace treaty was signed uh, here in uh, 1648. And it's a very, it's a very pretty uh, city. It's very historic, like on pictures you can tell there are a lot of, uh, there's a lot of architect architecture that's um, yeah, historic and very beautiful. Now, also, uh, the city is called a small, big city. There are, uh, the population is 168,000 people in total, and 28,000 people are students, um, which makes it a student city. Uh, so you've got both a little bit like a big city, but it's a little bit clustered with students. So you are always engaged with other people and uh, a little bit more modern life. And so basically, nine out of 10 students are living in the city which makes loneliness not possible because it's clustered and you have pretty much everything uh, surrounded. Um, so for example, you have a lot of opportunities to, besides studying, also have a very nice life. For example, a lot of green fields, like parks and areas that you can relax in the summer, for example, and a lot of sport and cultural activities, um, always events uh, surrounding the city and also music scene is very big. Um, so, yeah, basically, it's a little bit clustered. You have uh, the bars and clubs and eating areas all surrounded in a city, city, city circle. And the people, um, yeah, are always uh, around the city. And it's very lively. And also, Osnabrück is uh, considered the top five city for affordable cost of living. So, yeah, you have a benefit of not having to pay too much all the time. And also... It's very well connected uh, from the ICE train. I don't know if you uh, already know a little bit about the cities, the bigger cities in Germany, for example, Berlin or Düsseldorf. But using the train, you can get there uh, under two hours, which is very fast. So 
Yeah, it's very well connected. So all in all, to be said, uh, my personal experience in Osnabrück was very great. And I can just tell you guys, it's, yeah, it's nice. Thanks a lot, lot Long. Um, yeah, before we close, I just put here also a bit more general information for you that you can look at yourself later. I think you will have access to the slides if I'm well informed. And I put here on this slide some information on finding accommodation because I know that's always important when you come to a new city, a new uh, place, or even a new country. Um, so, of course, we have residence halls with different types of um, housing from single rooms to shared apartments to family apartments. I put the link here. A good short-term solution is usually to go for some shared living, also sharing a flat with others. There's also a very good um, link here where you can find housing for that. And I put here also the most important links for the housing market. And also here on the next slide, you find some more links to information on, um, on the accommodation in general, but also on furniture, for example, how you can find furniture, uh, inexpensive furniture for your new apartment, on other practical issues of life in the city, including the cost of living, you can check for this link here. And also I put the information on where you find more on the master program in economics or on general study organization and courses offered at Osnabrück University. And if you have any further questions now, um, after the presentations of the others, there will be room for it. If later you come, uh, you have more questions, you can also contact our degree program supervisor, Lena Romanenschuk. She couldn't be here today, but she'll be very happy to um, answer also your questions. I put the two email addresses that you can use for that also on this last slide. And I look forward to the question answers later on, but I hand over for Georgie now for the moment. <laughs>